What is going on everybody? Andrew Steele here. It is some crazy times going on in the RV industry right now. I just got a whole bunch of news over the last 24 hours uh, regarding Winnebago, Tiffin, and Thor Industries. Right now I am extremely thankful that in my business we're still able to keep working. I detail RVs for a living so I have a lot of different contacts with different folks who are in the RV industry. I've been getting so much information that I wanted to make this video today just to keep you all in the loop on some of some of the information that I've been learning. Two of the sources uh, regarding Winnebago and Thor are going to be the Elkhart Truth. So that's the local newspaper in Elkhart County, Indiana. They really have their ear to the ground in the RV industry. And then all of the Tiffin information came from uh, Facebook last night. I haven't been able to find anything publicized yet uh, but the, the Facebook owners groups people talk for sure and there's been all kinds of different you know going back and forth between the information on Tiffin someone made a post saying that all the people in the Tiffin service center were laid off other people were saying that wasn't true so there's there's back and forth going on but they did say that they are closing down for two weeks it was public yesterday that Winnebago is going to be shutting down all operations for two weeks Winnebago includes Numar Grand Design and the Chris Craft boat manufacturer as well. Winnebago Industries is going to be providing their employees with two weeks full pay and full benefits. I was not able to get any information on Thor of how they're taking care of their employees. If you know anyone that works for any of these Thor companies, uh, if you could drop a comment below or for Winnebago, um, anybody that has any information, kind of the inside scoop at what's going on, I'd greatly appreciate anyone dropping a comment below. And I wanna know about other RV companies as well. Are folks shutting down? Are folks still operating? What a lot of you that don't know Thor, Thor is Heartland, Keystone, Jayco. Jayco's got an Integra. There's just a whole bunch of different RV manufacturers under the Thor umbrella. So they're one of the largest RV manufacturers in the world. So they have operations in US and Europe. And about three days before the news came out that they were shutting down, they were saying that they were gonna remain open until they were uh, mandated by government to close down. But then three days later, without any government mandate, it sounds like they just shut down in concerns for their employees' health. The CEO of Winnebago also mentioned that not only are they doing this for their employees' health, but he did mention that supply and demand is changing and this is a decision to keep up with supply and demand. Now Newmar did have some layoffs recently. Newmar had layoffs uh, about three weeks ago. Endless RVing, MJ and Izzy did a video on that, kind of keeping everybody in the loop. Very sad to hear. Different folks are speculating whether the folks at Tiffin were laid off or if they're just on a temporary break until all this craziness passes. These are definitely really scary times for the RV industry. There are a lot of people going home without work right now, a lot of people collecting unemployment. Um, I am extremely thankful that I still have great customers. My customer that owns this RV is actually a um, airline pilot for Delta Airlines and he's, he's still at work. They're a, um, what do they call them? Like what's, uh, uh, a necessity or essential, job. essential yeah essential. yeah they're an essential job they're classified as an essential job so he's going to work he's just kind of grinning and bearing and he's like man this is this is tough time so a lot of folks in the rv industry getting shut down right now one thing to take into consideration is, is to look back 10 years ago and we haven't this is all speculation because we don't know what's gonna happen over the couple weeks. I'm optimistic the stock market just jumped like 1,200 points this morning. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, or what is today? Tuesday, March 24th. One thing to take into consideration is a lot of the guys that own these major inventories that have a ton invested, they are not dummies. So I could see them cutting their supply, cutting all production, until the market catches back up with it. Um, because we did see that year over year for the first time in about 10 years, the RV industry was, was on a decline for the first time, which a lot of people that are pretty wise have said that that's usually an initial sign that the economy may be having a, a downturn. The first thing you're gonna see to go is gonna be RVs and boats. I just wanted to keep you all in the loop this morning, everything going on 
Winnebago shutting down operations at all of their manufacturing facilities. They will still have some sales facilities open. Thor shutting down uh, most of their manufacturing operations in the US and Europe. And then via Facebook, um, Tiffin shut down at 2.30 yesterday, basically closed the doors, and they have a skeleton crew, so they can never have more than 10 people in the building. There's only a couple people working, but for the most part, the service center did close down. And I'll be honest, I saw Facebook posts yesterday, people taking pictures inside these RVs with the service technicians. and. You've got folks traveling all over and then the service technician is in the RV and you're putting multiple people in an RV together at the same time. I didn't like seeing that. Uh, in my business, we've been practicing social distancing. I don't want anybody more than six feet you know, from each other at any time. And I know they're doing that at Tiffin right now, but yesterday I saw a picture of someone posting you know that they were just having all this stuff done kind of live it seemed like a live post up to date so you want to learn more too uh, there's a, a few different uh, Facebook owners groups uh, one is called uh, Tiffin Red Bay Roll Call and that's kind of a pretty organic thing letting you know everything going on in Red Bay Alabama where the Tiffin factory is six months ago or nine months ago when a disgruntled customer ran their RV into the side of the service center um, I got kind of live up-to-date news on that Facebook owners group so a lot of great kind of up-to-date news uh, organically from the fa from the Tiffin owners and uh, all the folks that are at the Tiffin, Tiffin service center and Tiffin campground there so if you enjoyed today's video please consider subscribing I greatly appreciate all of you watching today's video I hope you're all keeping a positive attitude in these tough times we all have to be thankful for every day thanks again and have a great day